Welcome to the new Sydney Telegraphic Online. In the headlines, let's end political vigilantism. Akufuado to the NDC and NPP. Why didn't Akufuado talk about the value of the fallen city in his Sona address? And finally, prosecution modifies facts of case in the murder of the Tamaports officer. Now the details. President Akufuado has called on the leadership of the two main political parties, the NDC and the MPP, to help find a lasting solution to the menace of political vigilantism in Ghana. According to the president, citizens and future generations will not forgive the current leaders if they sit aloof for the country's peace to be undermined by politically related violence. Still in parliament, President Akufuado has announced that this year's Independence Day celebrations will be held in Tamale, the capital of the northern region. The president in the State of the Nation's address said it will be the first time in the history of Ghana that the celebrations will be held outside Accra. The president explained that the decision is aimed at reinforcing peace and unity in Dagbon. The deputy minority leader in parliament, James Kluchia Veji, has questioned President Akufuado's failure to speak on the depreciating city in his 2019 State of the Nation address today. In a reaction after the presentation, Mr. Abeji said it was worrying that President Akufuado did not tell Ghanaians how he was going to arrest the value of the fallen city. Prosecutors in the case involving the murdered marketing and public relations officer of the Tema Port, Ms. Josephine Tando Asante, have rearrested the two prime suspects, Christian Ajay and Amos Apeku, with the same charges but modified facts. Ajay, the houseboy of the deceased, and Apeku, her driver, were immediately put before the court and joined as defendants in the case. The Tema District Magistrate Court, presided over by Ms. Akosuya Japon, subsequently remanded them in police custody to reappear on February 28. The Asante Regional Police Command has declared nine more people wanted for the alleged involvement in last Monday's shooting incident at the NDC's regional headquarters in Kumasi. It brings to 13 the number of persons wanted in the bloody incident, which led to the death of one person and a serious injury to another. For more details in the stories you've heard in this broadcast, log on to www.graphic.com.gh.